Welcome back to Let's Play Heretic Shadow of the Serpent Riders. I'm one of my tacos. When we last left off, we went to a new area where there's a bunch of dudes and we've kind of really, really, really gone like off the beaten path. And I'm kind of regretting it, but we're doing mostly okay. We're just kind of low on health and we've got a lot of area that we're trying to cover very quickly right now. Another Mystic Urn. More ammo for the gun that I'm not using. I'm gonna grab these two health kits. It's unlikely I'll come back here. Okay. We're starting... You know, I had a hunch. I had a hunch. Just something in my gut that said, hmm. Now we need to run up and grab this shield, which we didn't grab the first time. I'm actually full on that ammo, so it won't let me take that up. Okay. Ah, magnificent. Did I pick up wings yet? No, I don't think I have. I have a chaos disc, which is not going to help me get up there. Are these teleporters? No. They flash like they're teleporters. You can hear those little imps swarming around making noise. But where are they? I guess they're on the other side of the wall here. I guess this is the... Uh, where the green door is in this other direction here and we're unfortunately going to have to deal with this green door which is really bad because there's bad stuff behind the green door you hear that? you can hear that bump pump 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 of the character's heart because he knows what's behind that green door do I have to physically pass for the green door to make the alcoves open up? Because they haven't opened yet. Hmm. I wonder what it determines as is the requirement for making those open. But you know what, if I can kill the Minotaur without making them open, I'll take that just as well. If he can just come back around. Here we are. Make no mistake, they're accurate. Move, 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 move. He'll march his way up towards me. There's not a lot of other ways he can go right now. Ugh. Eh, two damage. Well, more than two damage. My shield took some of it. That attack will end you. I'll stay further back enough that he doesn't feel compelled to charge. That was 40 rounds of that. Of that gun. 40 rounds of the Phoenix Rod. And this sucker is not done yet. He is a fighter. Down he goes. What do I get for my time? A flame orb. Don't like those guys. We're actually going to switch to this gun for the time being. And now I saw those doors open up through the windows. So it's all right. We're gonna go f pay a visit to our friends in the School of Wizardry. I'm sorry. Does it hurt? Does it hurt when I do that? I can't do a French accent to save my life. I can't do most accents to save my life. How does that scenario work when you have to do an act when an accent to save your life? The person asking me to do the accent 
gets to determine whether or not the accent was significant enough to pass the test, doesn't he? So wouldn't that mean no matter what, you could just tell you you failed anyways? And even then, you, your test, your accent would have to be, would have to pass for that one specific person's opinion. Oh, wonderful, that's a dead person. Blue key, okay. Where are we going? Where is a blue door? Is there somebody down there? No, just saying things. Blue was... I remember seeing it. I just don't remember where. Oh, blue door was at the end of this hall. Oh, hello! Oh, wonderful. Oh, wonderful. There's, there's a lot of them. Okay. Okay. There's a lot of them. Um, don't panic. Don't panic. Um. Unlimited power. Suck my flamethrower. Dead. Don't tell me I have to... Ugh. That's what I get for not saving. Actually, you know, if there weren't three of them, if there were maybe even two of them, I might say the best option would to be to go with <laughs> the uh, go with the, uh, the 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 gauntlets. Now we need to tell. Didn't they have nine of these a second ago? Oh well, two is good enough. To... It's for a good cause. I don't feel like these are hitting. I don't feel like I'm using this weapon properly. Yeah, this this is not doing a lot. Or. No. Maybe. You know what? It's worth a try. Ah, hell yeah, with it! Yeah. Oi! Oi! Where'd you come from? Oh god! That plan was perfect! And you had to ruin it! <laughs> you saw how well that worked though! <laughs> oh, now you see why I love that weapon. It's a good weapon, yes. Okay. The game gives you wings. Oh, hello. I want to go over there. If I had wings, and I'm about to end the level it looks like anyways. There they are. I want to go over here. Um, up. Down. Whoop. I forgot. Teleporters are... It's a, it's a 2D plane. Oh, really? I'm pulling? Oh, yeah. I didn't use that ammo because it sucked. Oh, right. In this, in this save reality, I didn't go up and deal with these wizards. Go away, fool. Get out of my path. See how I'm already firing because I already expect the worst out of the situation. Flask it up! In we go!
The Halls of Fear. And into the chasm. No. This is looking a lot like a particular Doom level. I know I keep making comparisons to Doom. That's because it's made on the same engine. Well, mostly the same engine by the same company. But you know, um, if I have my data straight, I believe this was made by Raven Software, produced by ID. Like Raven Software developed the game and Ed or ID Ed just Holy crap, I'm taking a lot of damage in this segment. That was that damage is really unnecessary that I took. And Ed just uh just published it. Which makes sense because they were using Ed's engine. So to be fair, if I remember correctly at the time, they started, they sold the Doom engine to basically anyone who, who would take it. Because of the popular, the, the success of the game, they, they could make a big, big buck off of that, and they did. They, Strafe came out of this, Hexen came out of it, Heretic. Actually, I don't remember which engine Heretic is based on. I think it's... I think it's still a Doom engine. I think it's just a highly modified version of it. Okay. I don't want to have to use more supplies here than I have to. But it's getting to the point where I might have to start using stuff. And I don't like using stuff. Quartz Flask. We will use immediately. Nothing left in here. Ammo and bolts. Health and bolts. I put one up. Did it come from the ceiling or did it come from a wall? Hard for me to tell in that instance. Anyway, but yeah, but a lot of good games came out of the original Doom engine or a modified version of it. As as uh, some of you may know, I only went through I only went through Strife. I don't know if I called it Strife earlier. I went to I only went through Strife recently because I wasn't even aware the game existed when it came out, and I really liked Strife. It was short, but I really liked it. Oh, I don't like where this is going. It's just going to be progressively worse and worse things, isn't it? As I just teleport around this confined area of the map. Nope. I only did that for a dragon claw? Okay. I really like Strife. I just think it was I just, just too short. Just a little too short. But I, I played that, like, I, I burst through that game when I got it. Just, it was just, it was very, very cool to get in, to play a new game on that engine. I mean, it wasn't new, but it was, it was brand new to me. This engine has a lot of, a lot of significance to me. I'm just, I'm, I'm one of those weirdos where when it comes to a game, I'm, I'm not so much about the story as a lot of people are. I don't mind the story. But I I'm always gameplay over everything else and these these games got that right. Games like this, Serious Sam. I mean they had story. Quake had story. It's just you wouldn't call it elegant or refined. Kind of sad about Quake. I haven't played as much Quake as I should. I played. I've played the original Quake. I mean, obviously, but I never really touched it after I went into Quake Arena. I played the second one. I can't remember if it was a Quake Two or it went straight into Quake Arena. But I, I played the second one. I played the first one and whatever the second one was, and 
After that, I just kind of stopped touching them. Which is which is a detriment. I really should go through and play those ones. I'm sure I'd like them a lot. I was just I, for a long time I was under the impression that the only thing that was to arena was the uh, was the multiplayer aspect. Ignorant as I was, it was only a couple of years ago that I discovered that no, that was. Pardon me, find back a hiccup. Uh, that was uh, certainly not the case. That they had these these single player stories, and they were actually, from what I hear, good. I mean, it's Quake. It's good Quake. Oh, I oh I did play another game. Um, I'm so gonna get the name of this wrong. I liked the heck out of this game, but I couldn't play it. Like I couldn't play it online, and that was the entire. I that was, that was the concept of the game. I think it was called like Quake Territory Wars, something like that. It was it was basically an online first-person shooter, done like like if if you took Quake and like Call of Duty and shoved them together, it like vehicles and yeah, you had like um like a military sided team and like the alien sided team, and I I just play that game, like versus bots single player, for, like weeks. I really really like that. But whenever I tried to go play online, by the time I got my hands on it, anything that was like remotely a server, like the servers were basically dead. And any servers you could find, they were they were the kind of players who were specific, like they, they knew which specific market of players they were advertising to. And if you weren't one of them, like if you were a new guy, you didn't belong. I had the same trouble with Smite, not Smite, uh, sorry, Demigod. Uh, Demigod was the first MOBA I ever played. And I really, really liked playing it single player. I liked it a lot. That was the first MOBA, and at the time I didn't even know like MOBA was a genre. I just ha I had a lot of fun playing with it. And like when I tried to go online and play it, the only servers I saw were like all servers that said like no noobs. And I was just like, well, I'll just stay out of the way. Oh shoot. Now, now that I think about it, this is a very Doom-like theme playing in the background here. There's a big guy over there. Am I still on level 23? Shoot, I don't even remember. Well, the good news is he is kind of trapped. So I have time to pick at him. I can't believe I ran out of ammo for that. His ground ability though still comes up here, so I gotta watch my moves. If I see him do that, I gotta hit that wall. I think this is the game relieving you because it knows you just fought two of these things, so it's gonna let you fight one in an area where you only have to worry about that range attack and it gives you space to dodge it. That's the worst. That's the worst thing that they they. Ugh. That's the worst thing that they do. When they do that, they know to do that, and they do it a lot. They'll they'll take guys like like say the the, the revenant from Doom Two or just someone who's this like a kind of guy that you normally try to fight out in the open arena at like any time possible, and like like rockets or something like that. And they'll shove them into a tight corner. And be like, you can't dodge him now anymore. Have fun. It's like the worst thing. It's horrible. That was rude. Where am I? I'm up here. I'll take that stuff. So where does this lead? Imp. A loot up here. Man, I'm low on ammo for that one. That is not a teleporter. That is a trap. That is a teleporter. Let me run back in before these guys start using these teleporters and getting to places that they definitely should not be going. 
I bet I have one of, one of them just free roaming the map already right now. Green key get. Okay. So, when we come back, we'll enter the green door. Thanks for watching. This is Wormless Taco signing it off. Bye-bye. See you guys there. Thanks for watching.